in this video we are going to talk about uh, R packages and how to to create an R package out of our code that we created for the project. Uh, R packages are like bundles of code. Uh, they are conveniently packed in a single file, a standard format file that is convenient for distribution and it's easy to install it, to attach it to your environment. And you can see the code of the package if you want. It's, most of them are uh, open source. So you just like unzip with any decompression file and you can look at the code and modify it if you want. Uh, sometimes these packages have C or Fortran code inside of them that needs to be compiled but R takes care of all of that. And there is a huge database of packages for everything that you imagine. It, it, they can be found in the R website. The number of packages has been growing exponentially simply since I started to work with R. There were like 400 when I started and now there is like 5000 I think. And so let's take a look how you install a package. The, the common to install package is install packages and the name of the package. ggplot is one example of a package that's very common common. It's for statistical analysis it's produce really nice plots and so you can see that it takes a while to install. Well you can see that a single command already installs the package. This puts the package in your computer. Now to load the package is the library command and the name of the package. So now the, the package is ready to use. Uh, there is many packages, for instance I use also the R MySQL package which allows you to connect R with database, with the R uh, MySQL database. It's really easy to use, really useful. We also use here frequently in the lab the GSTAT uh, package which allows you to make maps and to, to do everything with maps. to to create projections of maps, to plot them, to to do analysis. It's, there is just so many packages with very... The, the packages are usually much more specific than the R code itself. You have packages for like biological analysis, for genome analysis, for m maps, for, for, for everything basically. And so uh, let's take a look on how how you create a package so first I'm going to to source the functions that we created before in the project so now I, I go here and list so th this is the function functions that were were loaded and I'm going to create a package out of them so I'm going to use the common package skeleton which is a simple command to create a package. It will create the, the standard folder and files ne uh, necessary for a package. And here in this list uh, parameter, you should list all the, the functions that will be part of this package. And I just pass it by the everything that is on my, on my environment right now. And the name I will create R online course. So now a folder was created in my working directory with with all the the, the source that I have in my environment right now, the source code. Uh, I still need to build the package, so it's a uh, command line command, so I need to, to call it system because it's a Windows command and this command uh, will be executed in the Windows terminal. And I have to issue the command r cmd build and the name of the package. Okay, so now I have a, a this file here, which is the uh, package file, the library itself. So you can just send this pack this file to your friends or whatever or your coworkers that needs the code, and they can easily attach this code to their to their R environment. So. This ends our course. Uh, I really hope this course was very useful for you. And 
uh, I would like you to, if you like the videos, to spread the word, you know, to share this video, to like the videos in you know, YouTube and tell about them to your friends because uh, what I would like is this video to be useful to a lot of people. I like when my work is useful. And I would like also to thank uh, Dr. Freys, which is my advisor here, and he gave me an assistantship to be able to study here in the United States, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. And I would like also to thank everyone involved in this new wave of online free courses like uh, the website Coursera and Khan Academy and many other uh, websites that give education for free. Uh, when I was young, I really urged, urged for quality education and it was not available for me. I'm, I'm from Brazil, you know, a small town in Brazil, so it was not that easy to get quality education. And so it, it was a quite difficult way for me. And so I'm happy to see that nowadays people can get education uh, for free on the internet and really quality education. So I also would like to thank your time to take a look into these courses. I know that everyone is busy, you know, it's hard to take so much time, but I hope it was useful for you. So see you around. Bye.